At Bethnal Green Technology College, staff within the science department are developing work to bring disability equality into the curriculum. What would you find hard to do? What would school be like if you couldn't hear? Hannah Beth teaching this year 9 class and Maddie teaching this year 7 class have planned these two lessons together. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Both groups of students are being asked to consider a range of impairments and then the ways in which people with those impairments are disabled by physical barriers and by other people's attitudes. A lot of the students showed quite positive attitudes and they were quite comfortable talking about it and I think that's a really good thing to encourage in them. Hannah, Beth and Maddie made sets of cards for sorting about impairments and their causes. They've included visual cards for students with English as an additional language who need them. In today's lesson, both groups of students have been given a house plan and asked to identify the barriers in the house for a disabled person who uses a wheelchair. How would you change that house to make it so that, that person was not disabled anymore, so they could do anything in the house? You can have lower, like, sinks. Excellent. So can... Good, so you're having lower sinks yeah. and lower counters. And Good. Well, and that wool's in the way, so make it into a door. That's, you can put a leaf on the side there. Yeah. And put a bed something there. How about like, this one? Yeah. So you're going to need one of those elect, the seat lift things. Yeah. On the Excellent. So you start to think about how you can make it better. OK. Yeah. All staff at Bethnal Green have taken part in a whole day's disability equality training. And Maddie and Hannah Beth's planning for this lesson illustrates the social model of disability. Um, I think when Maddie and I discussed it yesterday, we were talking about how a disability isn't necessarily coming from inside the person or due to the person, it's due to the society that we live in. So, and I think that it was really important for the students to see that things that we do can create disability for people in a sense, um, and that if we're considerate of it, we can help to reduce the number of people who are falling into the category of being disabled because we can change things about the way that we live that can maybe help them to, to live in the same way. Great. So you can live your life with an impairment but you don't have to be disabled by Yeah, it. yeah. I think that was what we were trying to get across today. Someone with hay fever. No, someone yes. with hay fever. Hay fever. This year 11 science class are also looking at impairments and at how the Disability Discrimination Act defines disabled people. No, my granddad is disabled. A person has a disability if he or she has a physical or mental impairment which is a sustained and long-term adverse effect on his or her ability to carry out normal day-to-day -day activities. Catherine is using this discussion as a starting point for a programme of work on genetic impairments. Staff at Bethnal Green are convinced that bringing disability equality into the curriculum benefits students. In terms of responsible citizens, yes, definitely, because it's, it's raised the profile of it. And I think we do need to make young people especially aware of all different disabilities, different types of people, different race, sexuality. I think they're all things that children need to explore in school because they're often subjects that people outside sort of the school environment they don't know much about themselves, so people are scared to talk about things if they're not aware of them themselves. So I think teaching it through the curriculum makes it really sort of integrated so they can actually say, oh yes, actually, that comes into this and that comes into that. And it's to make them aware that it doesn't matter what your physical or mental ability is, you, you can still achieve and be really successful in what you choose to do. You just might have to do it in a slightly different way, but it doesn't mean that you can't do the things an able-bodied person can. Catherine and other staff at Bethnal Green are taking a very positive problem-solving approach to their work on impairment and disability. I think it's important to take that approach because everywhere in life there are barriers, but there are small things that everyone can do to reduce that, so it's not a barrier. It's, so there are no barriers between different people. Everyone sort of is equal if we just look at different ways around it. It's, it's just different ways of sort of looking at a problem and solving it in different ways. And it's important that children see that so they think, well, actually, it's, they're not barriers. They just need to take certain measures, certain steps to mean that everything, the curriculum and everything else around us is accessible to everyone, which it should be. I think we should make people work together on it because, like, in primary schools, it's where 
it's kind of actually bad for people with um, disabilities because while I was in school I was being bullied because I had dyslexia and it was quite severe and not many people helped me and I was kind of always on my own because I was singled out because I wasn't as smart as others so I think like if children from a young age like understand it and understand the difficulties they could like help the same help that person that's having difficulties